The Dodgers also honored our heroes. The team hosted some 500 active duty service members, veterans, and their families at the stadium. There were plenty of activities and fun along with lunch. KCAL 9's Tina Ezzedine was at this afternoon's event. Oh, say can you see? A musical symbol of our nation's history. Whose broad stripes? To honor those who serve it. Sometimes you may feel unappreciative and you forget what you're actually doing this for, but then when you get events like this, it really encourages and, you know, it makes us feel like, hey, what we're doing is actually right. Hundreds of active and retired service members invited to Dodger Stadium this Veterans Day. <laughs> Symbolic in its own sense, regarded as America's pastime, baseball rich with history, not lost on veterans, this holiday, a tradition forming after World War I, what was to have been the end of the war to end all wars. It's kind of hilarious because we always get into a war no matter what. Uh, when you sign the dotted line, you got to do your, your, your job. More than 100 Veterans Day holidays later, a chance for military men and women to ask questions of Dodgers catcher Austin Barnes and first baseman Max Muncy. My name is Marco Velarde. Batting practice on the field and a photo op with the 2020 World Series trophy. It's really just like a valuable experience at the end of the day. Only one in five men and women between the age groups of 17 to 24 actually qualify for military service these days. Recruiters say issues such as education, weight, mental health and drugs are playing a major factor impacting qualifications. So events like this today build connections that last far beyond the field. One of the things that we found is most cathartic for us is just being around other people, other military servicemen who understand the challenges that we go through. And we share in that together. So coming out here together, have an opportunity even just to interact with one another. I met plenty of people today for the first time, and it's like your brothers and sisters because you just you automatically have to share that bond and you know just look at each other and nod and you know. Honoring the brave on Veterans Day. And maybe I'm lucky or maybe I'm not, but I'm still here and uh, I'm just going to stay on and keep remembering my fellow veterans, the ones that are here and the ones that are not here. The least we can do. At Dodger Stadium, Tina Ezzedine, KCAL 9 News.